Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallace weather briefing for Tuesday, November 12th. Starting to see uh, rain rates increase across the area this morning. Uh, we're going to continue to see rainfall throughout the work day today with the rain ending around uh, between around 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, we might even see a very brief uh, wintry mix as the rain departs the area, but if we do see any snowfall, not going to be seeing any accumulations due to the ground temperatures remaining uh, well above freezing until we get into tonight. Take a look at our service analysis across the region. There you see that a large cold front spanning uh, the entire eastern portion of the country. Um, behind there, we are going to see some cold air move very quickly in. Like I said, even bringing a chance of some wintry mix as this front departs uh, the coast later this afternoon. Otherwise, just seeing a rain throughout the day today. We've already seen our high temperature earlier this morning in the upper 50s, and we're going to continue to see temperatures uh, fall as we go throughout the day today. Taking a brief look at our upper level winds, uh, as of 12Z or 7 a.m., our, our freezing level is actually pretty high, around 10,000 feet, but that's going to uh, fall pretty quickly as we go throughout the day today. Um, winds, uh, f we're, up, we're from the west-southwest of the surface and then uh, just above the surface, still remaining around west-southwest and across the entire column. Uh, winds <coughs> increasing from around 35 knots at uh, one to 3,000 feet to uh, 70 knots at 12,000 feet and then remaining around that level up to 80 knots at 25,000 feet this morning. Take a quick look at our radar this morning. Uh, we have seen uh, radar rain uh, rates increase just a bit. We'll continue to see that rain be a moderate to even briefly heavy at times. We do have this heavier batch of rain uh, here over the um, Chesapeake that could be due to some bright banding as we get a little bit of uh, the radar returns hitting that melting layer in the atmosphere, helping to make it look like a uh, a little bit heavier rain when it really isn't the case, but still going to be some moderate rain as that front continues to march eastward across the region, and then we'll see that cold air start to really move in quickly behind this front, giving us uh, perhaps some snowflakes around the uh, 4 p.m. hour this afternoon. Taking a quick look at our satellite as well this morning, we're going to uh, just see uh, continued cloudiness throughout the day today. Uh, those clouds will continue to thicken and the uh, ceilings lower as we get that front moving closer to the area and those rain rates increasing. I already see some of that uh, clearing with that drier air moving in across the western Virginia as that uh, very cold air has uh, moved in behind that and we'll see that the quick, quick clearing tonight as well once that front departs off the coast. So for today, going to be uh, seeing those temperatures continue to fall throughout the day today, uh, coming into the uh, lower 40s by the afternoon hours, and uh, winds are going to be turning more northwesterly as we go towards the afternoon, becoming 13 to 18 knots in gusty, looking around a 70% chance of seeing a wind advisory this afternoon, and uh, seeing those winds then shift northerly as that front departs around uh, 10 to 15 knots by this evening, and then shifting more northwesterly once again overnight. We'll see those breezy winds uh, continue throughout the overnight hours, ret remaining a, uh, retaining a chance of a wind advisory throughout the overnight hours, and you can see those temperatures are really going to fall, especially once that front um, moves east of the area and that cold, dry air moves in, see, expecting a low of 26 degrees tomorrow, and combine that with those uh, somewhat breezy winds, we could be seeing a slight chance of that wind chill dropping as low as around 10 degrees uh, by mid-morning tomorrow. Uh, we are going to be seeing those rains continue, becoming more moderate as we go toward this afternoon, perhaps even briefly heavy at times, and then, like I said, perhaps seeing a very brief switchover to some wintry mix as that front leaves before we start to see things clear up quickly. Taking a look at our terminal forecast, going to be seeing those ceilings continue to lower as we go throughout the morning hours and into the afternoon. By lunchtime, seeing those ceilings as low as about 1,000 feet as those clouds begin uh, continue to thicken and rain rates uh, slowly increase, possibly becoming as low as 500 feet as we go towards the afternoon hours when we expect the heaviest rain in the area. Then once that front departs at about 5, we'll start to see those clouds break up, um, becoming just scattered at 2,500, broken at 10,000 feet, and broken at 25,000 just after sunset. And then once we get to midnight, we are going to see those clouds really clear out, becoming uh, mostly clear after midnight, and then uh, just a few clouds at 25,000 feet expected by the mid-morning hours of Wednesday. So let's take a look at uh, some 
model output for today. Here's a short term model to show how this front's going to progress across the region with the rainfall. Seeing some uh, light rain right now, and that'll continue for the next couple of hours. But then we'll go into the afternoon hours, and that's when we'll expect those uh, higher rain rates with some moderate to brief heavy rain. And then as this front departs at around 4 p.m., which is uh, this time frame right here, you see those little blue patches indicating the uh, transition to snow. It does look like we'll see a better chance of some uh, snowfall mixing in a more interior portion of Del Marva, like near Salisbury, but still can't rule out a brief snowflake here at Wallops as this front uh, leaves. And then it should be about 5 or 6 p.m. that rain will be completely shut off as we start to get that uh, cold, dry air uh, moving in behind that front. Taking a look at a longer range here. As we go into uh, tomorrow morning, we'll have that cold high starting to settle settle over the area. That'll give us those very cool temperatures tomorrow. Only going to see those highs tomorrow into the upper 30s. And as we go into Thursday morning, we'll still see that cold air lingering with some lighter winds. That'll help to drop those temperatures back into the upper 20s again. So expect uh, two nights in a row here of uh, sub-freezing temperatures across the region. As we go into Thursday, we are going to be seeing uh, temperatures start to moderate a little bit as the uh, high pressure uh, remains over the area and we get some light winds so that'll just uh, help to give us a little bit warmer still looks like it's going to be slightly below average though temperatures in the 50s and then as we go into the end of the week we're going to start to see a, a coastal low develop off of the uh, carolinas and there's a little bit of model uncertainty exactly what this low is going to do it does look like it's going to give us the possibility of some uh, light rain showers uh, as we go into the day Friday. Um, if we don't see rain, that onshore fl moist onshore flow is going to definitely keep it socked in, though, as we uh, and just giving us some drizzle, but uh, still going to carry some chances for showers. And that'll continue with Saturday as well as that low kind of just lingers across the area. Um, off of Carolina, south of the region, we're going to be getting some uh, slightly breezy onshore flow, keeping things really socked in across the region and maybe a little drizzly and uh, with some shower chances on Saturday as well. Then as we go into the early parts of next week, that low will finally start to depart the area and uh, possibly is getting some most, some uh, partly sunny skies returning to the area. But it does look like with that low giving us some onshore flow, we can't expect some uh, cloudy conditions as well as some slight chances for showers as we go into this weekend. So taking an overlook overview of our seven day forecast here going to be cloudy and rainy today that temperature dropping throughout the day today as we go into uh, tonight going to be seeing a low of 26 with a very cold high tomorrow only expecting a high of 38 degrees under uh, partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies thursday a little bit more mild seeing that high back up to around 53 degrees but still chilly for this time of year and then that uh, cold low once again on thursday morning of around 27 Friday, we'll start to see more of a uh, southeasterly flow develop, and that'll help to moderate things a bit with that low all the way up to around 44. It looks like we'll see that uh, low temperature early in the evening, uh, Thursday night into Friday, and then temperatures rising throughout the day Friday, expecting a high Friday of 49, and really those highs are going to remain in the upper 40s, uh, near 50 degrees from Friday through Sunday as that low pressure system that we just talked about kind of lingers just to the south of the region and off the coast giving us that uh, mild or that uh, moist onshore flow with those uh, chances for isolated showers and drizzle and continued cloudy conditions as well. Also going to be a little bit breezy especially along the immediate coastline with that pressure gradient associated with that uh, low to the south and high pressure well to the north. So getting to Monday, we'll start to see that we'll see that low weaken and move well away from the coast and getting high pressure building back in. Then we'll start to see a return of some sunshine temperatures back into the low 50s. That'll do it for your daily weather briefing. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 8.15 a.m. and at 10 a.m. Have a great day.